Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to be looking at finding averages using the Casio ClassWiz calculator. Uh, this one right here which is the Casio FX991EX. And we're specifically looking at averages for the GCSE maths exam. We'll be looking at finding the mean for de various different situations. So the, we're going to start off with finding the average from a set of data values. So we want to find the mean of these values here, 9, 6, 5, 7, 8, 5, and 2. Now to find the mean, you simply add up all the values and divide by the number of values. Now we can get our calculator to do this by following some steps. So first, we need to make sure our calculator is set up in the correct mode. So to do this, you're going to press Shift and Menu, which will take you into the setup screen. You'll scroll down by pressing the down arrow to number three, which is statistics. So you can press number three to get there. And it's asking you about frequency, whether you want it on or off. Now, if we're finding the average of just individual values, we want to turn this off. So press two. Now we can go into menu, select number six for statistics. or You can just press six. And then we choose number one for one variable. We now have an empty table. So we now need to enter our data. So our data is here, it's these numbers here. So nine, six, press equals after each one, five, seven, eight, five, and two. Now make sure you press equals after the last one so it takes you on to the next line. And now you're going to press AC, now press option, and then you're going to choose one variable calculations, which is option number two. And over here, you have a bunch of different summary statistics. So we can scroll through these by pressing um, down. And you'll see there's absolutely loads there. Now, you're not going to be interested in all of them, but some of the important ones for you will include the minimum. So if you go down here, you'll see minimum X, the lower quartile, which is called Q1, the median, which is also called Q2, it's just called median in here, Q3, which is the upper quartile, um, the maximum value, which is nine here, and N is the number of values. So those are some important values here. But the value we're interested in is the mean, and the mean is simply X bar. So X bar is equal to six. Now, if you go on to study some more advanced maths, for example, if you do GCSE statistics, or if you go on to do A-level maths, you'll be interested in some more of these, which are which include sigma x, which is simply the sum of all the x values added together, sigma x squared, so squaring all the values and then adding them together, sigma squared x, this one here, which is the variance of x, and sigma x, which is the standard deviation of x. So those are some more advanced things that you can do with this information. You can also use the summary statistics. So in order to use the summary statistics, there is actually a hidden menu. So if you press option there, which takes you to this screen, which you which you previously selected option two, um, of course, you can also change the data if you want. So if you press option three, let's do that again. So if you go option and then number three, you can change any of the data values if you want. And similarly, if you choose option one, you can change the type of table that you have. Um, but we are interested in, in, in going into this hidden menu. So the hidden menu is actually on the next page. So you have to scroll down, which takes us there. So there's summation variable, minimum, maximum, and normal distribution. We're not going to be doing normal distribution, but if we go into option one, summation, this simply shows the sum of X and the sum of X squared. So we can just bring up these values and we can perform calculations with these values can go back and go into variable. We've got sigma x, so the mean, sigma squared x, which is the variance, sigma x, which is the standard deviation, um, s squared x and sx we will not need for now, and n is the number of values. We can go back into min max, and in here we've got the minimum, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the maximum. If you are going to plot a box plot, this would be perfect for you. Um, and then in the, th in the third page, there's nothing useful there for you. 
So we can use this information to find, for example, the range. So if I wanted to find the range, it's just highest take away lowest. So I can go into option three and do maximum, which is number five, take away. And then I can take away the minimum. So going into option three again and minimum and press equals and I get seven. So the minimum of the data, uh, so the maximum take away minimum of the data from the previous page is seven, nine take away two. Uh, we can also work out the um, interquartile range. So if we do that again, option, down, min, max, and it's upper quartile, which is number four, take away, option, down, min, max, lower quartile, which is option two, and we get three. So the lower quartile, the upper quartile take away, lower quartile is three. So we can use some of these summary statistics to perform other calculations as well. Now we're going to look at finding the mean from a frequency table. So here is our table and uh, we want to just find the mean of this. So the first thing we need to do is make sure our calculator is set up correctly. This time, because we have a frequency row or a frequency column, we need to turn frequency on. So to do this, you, go, you will press shift and menu, which takes you into the setup screen. Scroll down until you get to option three, statistics, and this time turn frequency on. Once you've done that, you can go into menu like before, option six for statistics, and we are still doing a one variable calculation. So one variable, but what you'll notice this time is you now have two columns, one column called X, which you had previously, and one for frequency, which is where these frequency values will go. So for X, we are going to put in these dress sizes. So six, six, eight, 10, oops, 10, 12, 14. Once you get to the last one, press down to take you to the top and then scroll to the right to go to the frequency column. And these are seven, 12, 16, 15 and 9. Make sure you press equals after the last row so you're on to the next bit. Um, and now you can just press AC, press option, go into option 2 which is one variable calculations and you can scroll through all the different summary statistics. The one we are interested in is X bar which is the mean and in here X bar is the very first one 10.24 to two decimal places is the mean from the frequency table. We can also work out the mean from a grouped frequency table. So a grouped frequency table is one that looks like this. Now there's a bit of extra work that you need to do and this type of question comes up in the GCSE every single year and is usually worth about four marks. So the first, the only thing that you have to do before you use the calculator here is you have to add in an extra column called midpoint and the midpoints are the numbers that are in the middle of zero and five. So halfway between zero and five, so you can do zero add five is five, divided by two is 2.5. Midpoint of five and 10, five add 10 is 15, divided by two is 7.5. And we can do that all the way down. And there we have it. And the midpoints are the values that we are going to be using as X in our calculation. So let's get this ready. So go into shift and menu to go into the setup menu. You might have to come out of there first. So shift and menu, scroll down, go into option three for statistics and make sure your frequency is turned on. Mine was previously turned on anyway, but it's good to just go through all the steps here. Uh, next, we'll press menu and option six for statistics. And we are still doing a one variable calculation and we now need to enter the data. So the data that we're going to enter for X is the midpoints here. So it's 2.5, 7.5, 12.5, 17.5, 17.5, and 22.5. We can scroll down to the top now, and we can put in our frequencies. So our frequencies, are 19, 23, 21, 5, and 3. Just 
just make sure you press equals after the last one so you're on the next row here same as before you're going to press the AC button press option choose option 2 for one variable calculations and there's all your summary statistics there again we are just interested in the mean which is over here to two decimal places 8.98 and that's how you find the mean from a grouped frequency table. So you can use this to check that the working you've done in your exam is correct. And that's it. That's everything that you need to know about averages for GCSE maths using the Casio class whiz. Um, if you found this video useful, do me a big favor and hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button as it helps other people just like you to find this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.